So this is a 68-year-old male who was seen initially by an outside otolaryngologist. Uh, the patient had noted a right-sided neck mass. He had just completed his radiation therapy for his prostate cancer and uh, thought it was odd that he could feel something in his neck. Uh, the outside otolaryngologist performed a fine needle aspiration, which was consisted with HPV-associated squamous cell carcinoma. So he came to see us at our multidisciplinary clinic, where we have a radiation oncologist, medical oncologist, surgeon, uh, and speech-language pathologist uh, present for the visit. We met him, he had a base of tongue uh, tumor, which was the primary site of his HPV-related uh, squamous cell carcinoma. We discussed both surgical approaches and primary radiation therapy uh, approach. We did discuss with him that with several lymph nodes, there was a risk of extranodal extension, uh, which may necessitate uh, chemotherapy in addition to radiation therapy after surgery. We also presented him with the option of chemo radiation therapy without uh, surgery. Uh, after consideration, the patient and his wife uh, wanted to proceed with surgery, understanding that there may be a risk of chemo in addition to radiation therapy uh, if there were any adverse features on the pathology. We went to the operating room, performed a transoral resection of his tumor uh, and a neck dissection. He did turn out to have five millimeters of extranodal extension on his uh, pathology, uh, and his tumor was approximately five centimeters. Um, for these uh, reasons, he ended up uh, undergoing chemoradiation therapy after uh, transoral resection and neck dissection for his HPV-associated squamous cell carcinoma.